What's up, guys? Matt here, MixingMasterMySong.com. Today, we're going to be checking out this new plugin from Acoustica Audio called Gain Station, Mike Dean's plugin. Really, really dope plugin. You can do a lot with it. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so here is the plugin right here. Um, it has, you know, five modules in the middle and then a huge input and a huge output gain. Um, let's go through the modules and then we'll start checking out some examples of what this thing can do. Uh, the first module is the pre, kind of like a preamp, gives it different colors, different harmonics. You have four different ones to choose from, M-I-K-E. You can listen to them. They're subtle, but do give a different sound. Uh, bass and air are different. They're like a pull text style EQ. You got 60 hertz, 100 hertz here, 3K, 10K here. So really cool. Love this air band quite a bit. Um, a spreader. So you got mono or stereo. Uh, this is good if you're using on the stereo bus just to give a little, little bit of extra width. Um, I found it more useful for when I'm doing instruments, like trying to distort a bass or something, and it gets a little too wild. I can pull it more mono. Um, I find it more useful in that scenario. Uh, I'm not a big fan of spreaders in the stereo bus, though, so, you know, who knows. Uh, next is the clipper, and it's got D-E-A-N, so you got four different um, clippers here. Uh, the first two seem to be a little more musical, uh, and the second one's a little bit more transparent um, from what I've heard and from what I've, you know, listened to. Uh, and then finally, there's this router section here, and this is actually pretty cool. Um, it allows you to route different options. So, for instance, this one down here starts with blue. So it's the pre to the bass to the um, air to the spreader to the clipper, right? So that's the first option. But then you can switch it, then the pre, bass, cl then clipper, and then spreader. So you can go in different directions. And um, I find this first setting is okay for uh, the buses or for your stereo bus if you're using it in that way. Um, but using it in different ways with like the spreader last um, for instruments has been kind of interesting too. So kind of cool. They give you different options or if you want to clip it first and then do different things to it. Um, I like this routing option for, you know, specific instrument stuff. So now let's just get into it. Uh, the thing I've been using it the most on so far is my drums, overall drums after everything's been processed. I got a little starter right here. And um, I'm just going to play it for you without it and then with it. And then um, we'll, we'll boost some stuff up and switch some things out so you guys can hear this thing kind of more in action. But we'll start off. This this is uh, Rhea's, uh, Rhea's song, Overdose. You can check her out on Spotify. Please do. She's a new artist I've been working with, and she is super dope. So let's check out the drums. I got the music and the vocals muted for right now. This is just drums and bass. So pretty cool. You saw just those small adjustments that, that I had initially really kind of brought the drums to a next level. Um, and then, you know, you heard the air can really spread it out. Now, checking out, I don't know if you guys could hear the difference on these pre's. Like, K was a little bit darker. Um, that's really cool that you can kind of slightly alter the sound that way. And then, of course, and we'll get it to, into this stuff, you can really jam this thing up and blow your speakers <laughs> or um, just get some really gnarly sounds out of it. But we'll get into that. So that's how I've been using kind of on the on the drum bus. I'm just going to turn this off for now. And then this is my mix bus. So this has been a little different. So I've been using some of the cleaner pre's, I mean, cleaner clippers, and just slightly clipping it and then bringing it down. And then if I need to add just a touch of air or a touch of bass, I do that. Um, haven't been really using the spreader here. Uh, but let's check this out just on the overall mix bus. And I'll bring her vocals and the music in too. So 
So there's that. Uh, you can see it really kind of brought the whole mix to life a little bit more. Clipping it light, slightly with a cleaner setting and just giving a little bump in the high and a little bump in the low, although we ended up not using it. Um, this spreader's weird. Sometimes I dig it, but like I said, I don't like spreaders on stereo buses. So, you know, maybe it'll work for some of you guys. I'm not a big fan of it on the stereo bus. Um, and then just the, the M pre, um, and you could try turning this on and off. You gotta be careful on your stereo bus with this thing because sometimes it can get crunchy. Uh, which is, you know, a lot of the point of this plugin is to get crunchy. So just be careful on your stereo bus. They do, you don't start distorting it. But uh, just lightly putting it on. Like sometimes I've been using it where I just put it on and that's it. Maybe boost the gain just the touch. And it just adds some, some sparkle to uh, your stereo bus. So digging it on that as well. Um, lastly, let's just roll down to this bass here. And I'm going to show you guys um, just how cool the distortion side and, and the creative effect side of this plugin can be. Um, and actually one more thing too, right before I do that, let me just show you guys. It does come with this other plugin called Gain Station Boost. And it basically just gains, uh, it's just a really lot much, much easier gain. I do wish they brought, put like a little like uh, gain knob here so you can turn it down because it can get super loud. Um, and then also has this EQ boost, which is basically pre or post the pool tech EQ. Um, and they also have presets that you can use here. So there's 808 destroyer, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the mic stuff is 808s and destroying your 808s, which is what we're about to do um, with this one. So the way I do this, cause you gotta be careful, you'll blow your speakers out with this plugin. Um, so you bring the, I just bring the output all the way down, right? If I'm gonna use this as a creative effect um, and then you can start pushing it. So check this out. This is the uh, this is the bass sound without the plug-in, obviously. All right, so now we're gonna turn this on and fuck this thing up. And also you can change this routing. So we, you know, we just made this thing super distorted. It sounds dope, right? Um, I don't know if it would work for the song, but just, you know, in context of, of trying to check this plugin out. Uh, let's switch the routing to see what it changes, how it changes the sound too. So, I mean, just change the routing can really, you know, bring you something different. I kind of still dig this one a minute. It's just because we started with. Now, if you hear, this is kind of a stereo bass. That might get kind of wild. So this is where I was saying having the spreader here um, is cool. If you want to mono it out a bit so it's not so stereo and taking up some of the, the room of your guitars or synths or whatever, you can use the spreader, which is last on the chain here, and it will bring bring it in a bit more. So you hear how different that thing sounds now. Um, 
So that's it basically. Really, really cool plugin. You can do so much with it. I love like the distortion side of it. I love the clean side of it. I love using it on a bunch of different things. Uh, Mike really did a good job with Luca and all them to make this. It's uh, something I'll be using a lot of my, my mixes. Let me know how you guys have been using it in the comments below. If you need your song, Mix and Master, hit me up at mixandmastermysong.com. You can also check out my courses and presets there. See you guys soon.